I think we can all agree that Ghost Recon Breakpoint looks really really promising, but there are some things that people don't really like, like the fact that the game requires an online connection to be played at all times. So if Ubisoft had a great explanation for this, maybe we would all accept it. But right now their explanation has been really poor, like I haven't seen them give a good reason why this game has to be always online. So let's touch on that and some other more positive news regarding this always online feature. And we got some more recent news that I want to round up in this video. Would be awesome if you could leave a like as it shows your support and let's go. If you didn't know I'm doing a giveaway for the ultimate edition of Ghost Recon Breakpoint with 3 days early access, a bonus mission, in-game items and also the year one pass just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are subscribed to the channel as well before you enter breakpoint is really an evolution of wildlands and i think it's clear in the gameplay that they showed that there's more depth now thanks to the injury system there are more ways to interact with the environment like the prone camo but also we can now finally use a breaching kit to get through fences. So I was impressed when I got a presentation a while back in Paris where I also got to play the game. But one thing that they did not discuss was the fact that the game now requires an online connection at all times. So yes, even when you're just exploring the world alone without any co-op friends, you will still need an online connection. Good to know though, and I don't think that this was clear before, you don't need PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live to play the game solo. You will only need it for the social features of the game. So when you're playing co-op with other people online or likely to see other people in the home base that we discussed in my previous video where up to 16 players can run around in this area, buy new gear, form parties to go out on a mission together. And of course for the PvP you would need PS Plus and Xbox Live as well, but you don't need a membership if you just play solo. But then the question still remains, if I'm just playing solo, why do I need to be connected to the internet? And I got to be honest with you, I don't really have a problem with this game always requiring an online connection, like my internet is pretty nice here. But there are of course some things that you cannot control, like PlayStation Network, or Xbox Live being down, or your own internet provider shitting the bed. So when those instances that are out of our control occur, we will not be able to play Breakpoints, while with Wildland, this was no issue at all. And I of course know that not everyone has a good internet connection, so this problem is even worse for the people in those specific areas. So everyone is wondering why, why can't we have a choice to play offline or online? Well, Ubisoft does not seem to have an answer for that as well. Over on the official forum we got Red11590 asking the same question, with a Ubisoft community manager replying as follows. In order to provide the best experience to all players, an internet connection is required to play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And yes, this is like the worst response that you can give because it really says nothing. It makes you think, does Ubisoft really not know why they're going for the online only approach? That sounds weird, right? They likely have their reasons. So why don't they want to communicate that? One of the things that I see people speculate about is that it has to do with the shared progression between the co-op sort of story part of the game and the PvP part of the game. Because as you likely know, you can now carry your gear and level between the two modes, while with Wildlands it was of course separate. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that other games did this before as well, right? While still maintaining the offline modes like Rainbow Six Vegas 2 comes to mind, that also had cross progression between the terrorist hunt mode and the PvP and could be played offline. Again, I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think that this was the case, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm of course not a developer and Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is an older game, so I'm not sure if the shared progression is the reason that they're going for this online only approach. And I can think of other things, because an online only approach makes the game less hackable. There are programs on the console right now that can give players unlimited money in most of the single player games. And that could totally break the economy if it was brought into the rest of the game, with you also being able to trade items with other their players at the bivouac. So what if one person like hacked the game and then like bought a ton of items and then gave them to other players in the bivouac? That would totally break the game. 
and what when the raid launches and players can cheat their way to victory thanks to the cheats that are possible because you can play the game offline. I mean, that could totally be a reason why the game needs to be connected at all times. Another reason I can think of is the microtransaction store. While playing the alpha build of the game at the press event in Paris, I already saw a placeholder store icon in the menu of the game. So yes, they will totally sell you things for real money. And you can of course not access the store when you play offline all the time because then the store would not be reachable. They have to ping the servers for that. Having an online only game means that the players can always interact with the store. And that's the situation that we're in right now. I'm thinking of things why this game has to be always online because Ubisoft does not have a clear answer. At least I did not find one. And most of my reasoning behind this is because they are chasing a more the division approach. And you could argue if that's the right direction for the Ghost Recon series overall. I just think that it's hard to say right now and that we can form a better conclusion after the E3 blowout i really hope that they share why they think that this is the right direction for the series like why they're going for this online only live service approach instead of just going the same way that wildlands did hopefully i have another chance to interview one of the developers and ask them about this and hopefully they have a good answer because right now they aren't making the situation any better. While I totally think that there's so much to like about what they showed. But the focus seems to be too much on the changes that are negative in people's eyes. Maybe that is just the nature of the internet these days. Let's continue with another interesting thing that we learned recently. And that is that Ubisoft is looking into crossplay for Breakpoint as well. So that you can play with other people on other platforms. So that is of course good news. Although many AAA games have said this before. And it's still not really common for games to be played across different platforms and if it happens then it will likely only be that Xbox One players can play with PC players because Sony has never been a fan of this feature because they just want people to buy a PlayStation to play with people on the PlayStation instead. Subscribe for everything Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I will keep you up to date on all the news and again I will be going to E3 to bring you new gameplay and info about the game. A like on this video would be super appreciated. Check out the giveaway again for the ultimate edition of the game in the pinned comments and you can check out my other Breakpoint videos like one discussing a new feature coming to the game and one that aims to answer your biggest questions. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.